So we're live right now. We're, yeah, yeah, we're, we're lost. I just left oh, my set. <laughs> you guys didn't know that? You you said it and it didn't sink in. I'm, I just sort of rushed up here. Uh, let me I'm, sh- getting a, I'm getting us live baby. because yeah, yeah, um, no. it's, we've been trying to go live at 630 and I've been watching stuff and it's just people can't. So I tried to go early. That's yeah. why we're here. Let me so everybody, baby. yeah, everybody, please uh, just give us a minute because we kind of we went early on this. So we're getting everything together. All right. Share. And share this if you could. Like our whole goal here is to yeah. If, if anybody wants as many enough, people can, as possible can share it out. Yeah, they're a thing, and we're gonna start in a couple minutes. But get as many. Look, as Tyler, as talk about uh, tomorrow night too, which is the bigger thing with uh, Takeout Friday. Takeout Friday, baby. Takeout Friday. We're gonna do, um, uh, you know, help support our small businesses in the area. You can. It, the the cool thing about it is, you know you can do whatever you want. You could support whoever you want. There's no, like you, you're not directing anybody to go anywhere. Just go wherever you want to go and just get takeout. And hopefully we can go live again and uh, we can all eat dinner again together. That was fun last week. The big cat. It, it was actually me. a lot of fun. It, it yeah, was was fun. that the second week? Was last week the second week? Second week. The first week <laughs> we didn't go live. So we were on zoom. But that, that was, was still fun, fun though. Video. Actually. The, the, yeah. The last week that you guys did was way better and this week, having some time to prepare, like, I want to get. Listen, yeah, like, oh, you know, we, we want the, the whole the whole point of it is when this is over, <laughs> we want to be able to enjoy those places that we like so much. So I think they need this. They need us right now. Yeah, and we're not. And, and I, I saw you got some slack tie earlier for saying no chain restaurants. Um, but here's the thing. Um, the chain. Here's the Fine. reason. Chain restaurants employ people, right? That's great. But the fact of the matter is chain restaurants are going to exist when this right. is all over. Red like, Robin. I, did, I didn't want to say that. This, right? I know you didn't want to say it, but I was thinking it because I've worked for a chain restaurant and uh, they, they'll they still be there. They're owned by massive corporations that, you know, uh, like right. Carabas, the Steakhouse, the, all these. Well, places. what sucks is that the, the people still work, like the people like you and me who still work at Applebee's, right. even though it's owned so by. It, it definitely sucks, but. It'll suck worse if you work for Apollo and Apollo goes completely under forever. Right. So it might. So to me, I feel like it, it's better to to support the and local look, places. Like, but we're not gonna get mad at anybody if yeah. they. We won't they, kick you out if you go to Carabas. Yeah, like, It'll be fun. It, it's okay. Yeah. So. I want. I want. The, like, I don't want the 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 local Applebee's, even though they're they're lying about wings. I don't want those places to not exist. Like that's not the point. Applebee's, yes. Applebee's, I want out of here. I'll get I'll tell you, Applebee's. The rest. But treat I'm your a, employees better. You know. I'm a I'm a Ruby Tuesday fan. I want them to stay open, but Applebee's, get the fuck out of here. We're not yeah, interested. I mean, I, I could go without Applebee's. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're giving well, everybody. Did you see what they? Did you uh, see what they were doing? Yeah, they're they advertising uh, as like neighborhood wing spot or something like that, or some nonsense, right? Wing. Yeah. Kate. Kate has this link, right? She's uh, in the. She's in the chat. All right, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Um, the but yeah, they're pretending that they're uh, they put up for neighborhood wings, and they're it's masked. Such a, such a shitty thing to do. I mean, it's I guess in a way. I mean, it's clever, but uh, I it's saw just, somebody. Huh. It's kind of one of those things. It's like it's it's clearly it was clearly a corporate you know a cog a corporate cog was like we should do this. Yeah. And just you know didn't really think of like how it would affect the community. Like, not that we hate Applebee's, but like, there's definitely a wing spot that needs it. There's a neighborhood. Like any, like any bar, basically, yeah, that sells yeah. wings. Like, like do, it's yeah, kind exactly. of bullshit, you know? So, fuck them, is what I'm saying. Kind well, of. that's how that, you know, if you ever worked for a big company of any type, not even a restaurant, but if you ever worked for a corporate kind of place where there's you have eight bosses and all of them are just more concerned with keeping their job than they are with doing a good job, that's what it's like if you're a cook at one of these places, you, you go to work and your boss will come in and instead of caring how it looks or how the food is or whatever, they'll come over and they'll weigh, they'll, they'll take the plate that you just made during dinner time, take the green beans off and weigh the green beans. Yeah, that's not, that's not. And they'll say, well, well we're off by four ounces or we're, we're four grams. We're really looking for. No, I hear you. Get and the these fuck are the kind out of, here. These are the kind of places that throw away more food than they serve. Right. And, and it's why they make money. Not- while we're waiting for Kate, as soon as Kate gets here, um, I, 
I want to look at, see if we can find it here and see what they say. What, the wing? The, the masquerade yeah. wings? I heard Grubhub really rips off restaurants. Is that true? Have you guys heard yeah. that? that? Like they really that's, take a lot of their money? That's what I've heard from friends of mine who, here we go, Neighborhood Wings. A so, lie. Yeah. This is a lie right here. Now, look, now the people who, like, you, it says buy Applebee's, but come on. Because it's not like it's a separate building. It's just you go to Applebee's and buy the wings. They just aren't showing the rest of the shit on the menu. But then look, First of all, here's, here's what I'm going to make a statement right now. Make it. Go back to that, George. Go back to that. Oh, all right. Well, hold, on, hold on. Sorry. I, I, here, here's God, one thing. I, if I'm getting wings, yeah, I don't want the website to look like it. I don't want a nice website. Right, you want like something the like that mothers would show. Yeah. Th this is a Grubhub website. The wing. I'll make yeah. that statement right now. No, no restaurant with a nice ass website mm -mm. makes great wings. No, I've and boneless wings, wing. boneless wings aren't even wings anyway. Let's yeah. let's be real about that. I'm That's talking about Hecktown Fire Company wings. They don't even have internet, probably. Right, they're not yeah. gonna have a nice website. Hecktown, you know who has great wings? Uh, Tyler. Uh, Tyler. Tyler. Tyler, huh. I, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, Tim. No, you're good. Ty, Tyler brings up a fantastic scale. The less technology you have, the better your buffalo wings are. 100%. Yeah, that's 100%. always true. Probably G-Stakes, no, too. It, and actually, I'll say this, too. The shittier the bathroom, the better the wings. You go into a place with an awful bathroom, they got some great-ass wings. It's true, but... The, but I don't love that. I don't love the, no, the no. shitty bathroom thing. No, or, there's you know, another, one of our key is, especially with pizza, if they only have an ATM, like they don't take cards, but they'll take an ATM. Yeah, yeah. You can get yeah, cash yeah, yeah. out. You know you're getting good food. Yeah. Because they're not paying taxes. And, they I, and we're talking, taxes. we're talking, about not. the ATM is like, they own it. They own the ATM. Yeah, it's, it's got that, it's got like the graphic from 1990. Yeah, it, it takes it's, this dial up. It's pretty shady. It's like, like, are yeah. you, are you taking my pin? Are you taking my info? I kind of like that. I kind of like a pizza place where if you take money out of the ATM, you might be also Yo. getting your identity stolen. So, right. but you, Tyler, like, Tyler, you, you, you probably know this more than anybody here. Like when you're in New York City and you're paying for something with your 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 debit card, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have that credit card number stolen." Dude, that, that was the thing about New York. No, nowhere took cards. Like, Which is okay. bizarre that it's like the hub of the hub right. of the world, and they don't take credit cards. I mean, it was like it would be like a twenty dollar minimum. And it's like I kind of just want a slice of pizza. And anybody who's ever owned a business in the past ten years, say everyone knows that yeah, the twenty dollar minimum sure. is a lie. It's a it's it's a fucking lie because all the card, most of the card readers, not all of them, but anything like Square or Intuit or any of these places, they charge like two and a half percent flat. So if it's an American Express black card, if it's a Discover card, if it's anything, yeah, half percent. So there's you could whether you charge someone one dollar or ten thousand dollars, you're paying the same percentage of a right. fee. There's yeah. no well, that's like have, with us, like we use we use QuickBooks, right? So like say I do a job for you, Tim, I, I would invoice you through QuickBooks. I could send you an invoice like a PDF or mail, mm. or I could go through the QuickBooks program and email it to you, and then they take. Three percent or whatever it is, right? Like yeah. five. And I guess I mean for your business, there's probably not many fifteen dollar jobs, you know, going around. So it's probably at least no, like, no, like, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, but I think I, I went to the sandwich place. I won't, I won't shout them out because they pissed me off. Uh, but yeah. it was near my, it was near my house, and uh, they serve breakfast sandwiches. And there's no breakfast sandwich spots in this whole. There's nothing in this area at all for breakfast sandwiches other than chain, you know, Dunkin' Donuts. And um, I got three. I got more stuff than I could eat. Right. I got like three sandwiches and like a soda and a juice. And it was, I don't know, like 18 bucks or something like that. So I pay for it with a credit card and I'm waiting for him to cook it. And I'm sitting there and I realized I should have got an orange juice. I forgot the orange juice. So I go over I'm like, hey, can I get an orange juice? And the girl goes, well, it's a five dollar <laughs> minimum. And I was like, you may remember me from moments earlier when I yeah. spent much more than the minimum. Yeah. So I know it's the minimum. But I also already spent more than that. And I, I can't really justify $5 for an, an add-on. And she's like, let me check with my boss. Her boss is one foot away. Okay. Yeah. So she, she asked the boss. And the boss is like, well, 
I mean, it's not policy. We're talking, they're talking about policy. This place makes breakfast sandwiches. And I see they're using Square. The card reader is the Square brand. Yeah, and you and I was like, I was like, it's so funny how I can narrow yeah. down like where you're talking about just by like all the clues. I guarantee. Everything. Yeah, I guarantee you know exactly because you've been with me and Ty in the same little development when yep. we worked on so yeah, so it's right there. And I was like, listen, I don't want to be a jerk. I don't want to bother you guys, but I use the card processor that you guys are using for my business. So I know what the fee is and there is no minimum. So can you please just let me buy a juice from you? You'll yeah. still make money on the juice and the order I already gave you and we'll all be happy. Maybe, but, maybe you'll come okay. back. Right, it, which it, I never it, did, by the way. I it, never came but, back. It's uh, not her fault. It's not, I don't know if it was her or him. It's not, it, the, it's the fault of like, well, I don't even know who to blame, you know, like, cause I know who to blame the boss who was standing there, who should have said, yes, yeah, swipe the card. Yeah. Yeah. But he's probably not the real, but he's not the owner. So he probably, it was a pretty, from, I mean, like, you, you could be right. You could be right. But I think it might have been the real owner. Cause it's a small spot. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just kind of fucked up that you have to pay a, a chart, like the whole concept of like, I mean, I have American express card, like, so but so you're I, balling. So you're balling. I'm balling. Fancy as shit. But it's like it doesn't sit well with me that I have to pay to use my money. You know what I mean? Like that right. just doesn't sit well. Like you know how many places don't take it because they're like, you know, it, it takes a bigger percentage, and that's just like what? Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of it's a lot of businesses that got hooked up with credit cards in the early 2000s or prior that are getting ripped off currently because they'll have these merchant accounts, and the merchant account will say, look, if you use a Visa card, a regular Visa card. We're only going to charge you five cents per transaction. That's it. But if you use a Discover card with bonus points, you use an Amex card, if you use anything like that, we're going to charge you 3% plus a quarter every time. And it's all, it's this huge matrix of charges. And it's these old, it, whenever you go to a place like a gas station, you'll see that little, that the device that like, it not, it's not an easy thing. It's like, clearly there's a bunch of wires coming out of it. And it's a whole thing. Those are the old fashioned ones that they're getting ripped off. Yeah. So, those cases, that's why they set the minimums because you'd sell a can of soda for 90 cents and you'd lose money on it. Yeah. But nowadays, all of the card clearing things are all around two, two and a half percent flat. So there's really Plus no. Really, I, no, yeah, yeah, no. It, and that's why, like, when we even say to people, usually we'd be like, hey, can you pay? We don't want to do this old fashioned thing of sending you an invoice. Yeah. But we save so much money. By sending an invoice rather than that. Kate right. is trying to get on. She's having some issues, so I'm working on that. All right, everybody. Yeah, we're out. Thank you, thank you guys. Uh, if you're, if you're watching this, can you do us a favor? Can you just share the link out to your fans, to your Facebooks, you know, and just let's see what happens. We're trying to we're trying to grow this thing. Top let's fan see. Chris Lewis just checked in. I just love so, it. Just, Chris, you know. Share the link, you man. You, you, you hear Chris it. Lewis Bell. Bring in the Chris Lewis <laughs> Bell. Goddamn. We're gonna I, you know what? I have a feeling, Tim. Mm, what do you have, have a feeling? feeling. We're gonna, he's gonna we're share gonna, it. We're gonna no, I don't, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even all right. I, I, I made it I made I, I made the ask, I made the request. I hope I hope people listen. Mm -hmm. But I I have a feeling we're gonna be ringing a lot of a bell. I just have some kind yeah, of Yeah, Kate's I, gonna be up to no I good. Have a last night, bit of a feeling, you know, to be honest. And last night she didn't lie very much. So tonight I think she's really gonna pile it on. Kate Kate had a she had one of the best jokes in the running uh last night. She I forget said, what was the you Garrett you Garrett said to oh. me Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Garrett said to you, or I don't know how you said to Garrett that you were closer with him in high school than, you. Than, than me and then garrett said he would have thought he was closer with me and then you guys all talked and kate said uh she totally flipped it on all of us she made us all the yeah bad she's like i'm pretty sure garrett said that he wishes he'd known tim better and is glad <laughs> yeah, so and good. regrets knowing ty so yeah, well yeah, yeah. which yeah, is the was, most <laughs> subtly mean thing you could say it was yeah. perfect it was the the funniest thing that has been said so far in, the, in this pod we Podcast. set the bar low, also though, for, know, for the, funny. The like we're we set it very low. Yeah, it's not. It's not. I hope she gets in though. I hope. I hope that. All right, guys. Are... Here we go. You guys are ready. Oh my god. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll see oh, you in a bit. God. Princess <laughs> Bride in the building. Kate. I want to ring it already. Kate, we were just singing your praises. What were you saying? Well, how you you had you had one of the funniest jokes of our tenure last night when you basically flipped a script and said that I that Garrett didn't want to be my friend in high school retroactively. Yeah, you're welcome. And what's the what's the get up tonight? How, 
That's great. Oh. It gets you, I love how you have the gloves on too. Why do you have that? That well, yeah. I mean, yeah. who left you at the altar, Kate? I had a, so many. Um, I had a baby, as you yeah, know. Yeah, we remember that earlier this week. So I, yeah. you know, I thought make it official. You know? Get it hitched. Get hitched to the alien man who put the baby in you. Yeah, you know, I got I got some really great gifts. Um, mm -hmm. you got a bread machine there or anything? Soap. All right, okay. that's the nice organic stuff. It's the, I've seen that before. Lysol. Lysol. Okay. Right. It's very expensive for the per pound right now. Things that I that I need. Yeah. Any weaponry? Hey, hey, real quick. Milk. Just, you know, one thing that's I. That's not milk. That's not. Milk. Okay. One thing I'm noticing that's not there. Where's your husband? Oh, it's you know it's quarantine. So. So you guys don't live together. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. You're well, waiting for divorce. Yeah, yeah it's You're quarantine. waiting for yeah. divorce. I mean, look at this. I didn't do it for the gifts. I didn't. I didn't do it for the gifts. Who? What? What? Uh, what? One of your wedding but, guests I mean, gave you. A roll of toilet paper. They're good. I get two, two rolls. Two, two rolls. One. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, Tim, did you share it to all your all your respective places? Um, I shared to Honest Trav, which is my main share point. Okay. But uh, what I should do is share it to my my regu my regular page. You know what I'm talking with all the big fans that are just gotcha. friends of mine. Real quick, oh. can we just get uh anybody that's watching right now, our real fans? Can we ring the bell for them, Tim? Give us a, a quick bell ring for the fans. <laughs> uh I'll, I'll start with well we, we kind of know how kate is kate's married and she's uh things are good yeah she's having a quarantine honeymoon doing real well and mm. tim how are you how's your day going uh i threw my back out by oh. by yeah pretty I, I have a history of back problems right but it, it'll usually be okay for a while but i stood up in in uh, a, an odd fashion and that threw uh. my back out that's where i'm at now it's not from Age. pushing a car up a hill it's not from fighting a, a, a bear or something i stood up in the wrong way mm. and i'm in a considerable amount of pain so uh Jesus i Christ. watched That's... i did that i watched frozen one i watched frozen two um frozen i don't mean to interject i don't mean to interject no, i'm what's... an expert i'm an expert on both of these uh frozen one and two ah. two considerably better than the first yes or no See, I feel the opposite way. I felt like two was too many. I felt like two was obviously going for the payday. Whereas like they were just wrapping up all the, the loose ends. They every loose out. end they've ever had. There's like, there's magic. There's like big stones with shit carved into them. There's the elemental energies. Yeah. There's a princesses. At least the first yeah. one, it's kind of like. I'm my own princess. I don't need to. All right, that, that, yeah. That's all I have. Goodbye. I just, I just want to also bring attention to uh, how George said he would remain out of the show. No, I, I, so I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm, no. I'm literally. I appreciate. I'm, I'm, I, I, I won't come back in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear to God, in this, I'm not coming back in. This is the last second. time I'm talking. This is the last time I'm talking. Oh, the rest is, of the show, I swear <laughs> to God, I made that promise to Tyler, and I'm, I'm it, breaking it. It lasted shorter. <laughs> It lasted shorter <laughs> into the episode than previous non-promised episodes. I <laughs> swore like on my mother's grave that I wouldn't in five minutes. And I swear to God, I'm done. Oh, Come man. On. That's, that's, that's good shit. I'll that tell you that out of this group, though, George is the only one who would know anything about Frozen 2 because he has a kid. I was so, going to say, we so, were well, born I know to tears, Charlie. I know a decent amount of Frozen only be through oh, doing the podcast with George going to his house every Sunday and seeing Dahlia in a, in a, in a Elsa. I would not know who Elsa was if it wasn't for George's daughter. There's it's not a great movie. It's not as good as you most of the- You have to make the... good movies for kids. No, no I, you don't. But here's the thing about this movie. I have nieces, so I understand this movie. And you have a, you have a child of your own. And you're dressed, you're dressed like an ice queen currently. <laughs> That's right. You dress like you you're, you dress like you're, you're about to murder your husband. This is what I would- No, think. I would Murdered. Never. I think she already just, murdered. Well, there's probably be remnants of a murdered husband on the dress. <laughs> there might be. There might be. I don't want to show you the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, but the thing she of it is, kicked him to death. She <laughs> right, waist down. Um, she doesn't need a man. I can get down with that. Elsa. Elsa does. Yeah. That's and that's yeah. wonderful. But like that is all, so wonderful. Every that, other the rest of the movie. Movie. Right, but that's yeah. Disney's fault that they that they've inserted a man that, to save everything. That's not. That doesn't make. A bad movie good because you didn't force a man into it you don't and understand. also let you me know? tell you and let me tell you a little mm -hmm. something let me tell you a little something about my problem with frozen one 
Go which on. Is, which I believe is which I, I believe is the superior. Is, do we have? Sorry, to? I'm sorry, Ty. Do we? Can we not? All right, we, we can't talk about. It. We can't talk about it. Well, I'll go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, he's bro, into it. You can tell. I know. Real quick for the people out there, real fast. Here's my issue with You're Frozen gonna bring One. George in. George the is superior gonna is he's the coming. superior Frozen. Yeah, he's coming in. All right, the whole story makes sense, but so Elsa has the powers, right? She's a kid. Her parents tell her to suppress the powers because she's afraid of them. They're afraid it's going to hurt somebody. It hurts Anna. They wipe Anna's memory. She flips out on a coronation day, runs off into the wilderness, makes her ice castle, whatever. Doesn't realize that she just killed ev like everyone, right? So they don't they don't no, include that no in the movie. Ever, no woman ever right? realizes how many people. Right. Murdered every animal dead. Probably lots of little kids dead. Old people dead. She doesn't realize it. So then her sister I mean, comes through the woods, up the mountain, past, past all these dangers to tell her, hey, we got to do something. Can I, let me help you as sisters do it together. So Elsa unleashes a 15 foot tall snowman to murder her sister. At that point in the movie, I feel like Elsa's not the protagonist anymore. Tyler She's Simmons. trying to kill Tyler. everyone. Tyler, come back. Come back to us. Sorry. We had a movie podcast last night. You were into it. Is it us? Oh, Are we the problem? Oh. Are we the I problem? Just, I was making a joke, Tim. Are we the problem? Because Garrett, when Garrett's here, you were like lit yeah, up. He's talking about like look at the movies. jealousy now. We got well, a couple comments lit here. up. We got a couple comments rolling in, uh, real quick. Kate, uh, Anna Marie Hamilton wants to know if she's still your flower girl. <laughs> kind of weird, I'll be honest. Jeff Bays yes. wants to know the big cat. What's up? Oh, Jeff Bays. Jeff Bays. Oh God, Jeff. I hope My you're still flowers. listening. Mike Kunkel uh, wants to know who the fuck is this Kate girl? <laughs> <laughs> and Chris, Chris Ten wants to know what is happening here. Chris Ten, I agree <laughs> with you. Know. I agree with you, know. babe. And Chris and Marie, Kate, you have outdone yourself tonight. So. Thank you. Uh, we Thanks have Kristen everyone. and Chris Ten, one we after the other. Many Kristens. Ty, Jeff Bays, you know Jeff Bays. We served him together at Cherry Lane Cafe. He was like oh, an oh, everyday yeah. customer. He a uh, really funny guy. I miss word, him. He says word up. I love it. Um, Matt and, Rothrock in the house, brother of Tyler Rothrock. Oh, like, there's yeah, another. Bring Rock. his ass in. Yeah. George, get, get, make sure we get Matt in. Get, let's get Matt in somehow. Yeah. Uh, but bring him bro, in. Let's let's start talking a little bit uh, current events. Oh man. Um, George, don't worry about pulling screens up. We're just going to run right through it. So uh, we got a local one first. We got a local current event story. Hashtag real news. Mm -hmm. Shut up about it. Huh? Okay. Hashtag real news with a Z. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Wind Creek sent out a, sent, uh, there was a news article. They're basically saying to gamble at the casino in the future, you're going to have to make an appointment to go. Seems crazy, right? It does seem crazy, doesn't it? Does does that show that you have a problem? Well, yeah. also, I don't know if it's crazy because you have a problem or it's crazy because how are you, the casino, going to make enough money if every individual person has to make an appointment for their slot machine? It seems and like, like you like, need everyone there at once, right? Like There's like, got to be like a hierarchy of who gets, like if I'm like, hey, I'm going to go play $2 slots and then some other guy's like, I'm going to play blackjack for Right, five hundred thousand. Yeah. Like, hey, we're probably going to give him the appointment. You know what right. I mean? And that's fair. That's fair. I Wait, wonder if it's on. real, huh? This Chris Ten is now having a conversation with me in the Tyler uh, dash 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 Nazo alum, Lower Nazareth Elementary School. I think you graduated with my sister. I mean, Jesus Christ! I, like, I don't. You have to give me more information than that, Kristen. Mm. Uh, yeah, Kristen, give us something here. I mean, she has a lot of friends in common. I'm on her profile. Another one from Mike Sounds Kunkel. Mm -hmm. Another one from Mike Kunkel. Oh man, we're, this might be fighting words. We might have to bring Kunkel in. Oh yeah. Oh, well, we told him we we told Mike Kunkel. Yeah, we, that he, he had a he spot on this show. And we never brought him in, and I blame uh, Kate. I guess I don't know who yeah. else. Yeah, I'll take it. Thank okay, you. Okay, real quick before I talk say. about Kunkel, Kristen, she redeems herself. You have to go when you're feeling lucky, not when to make an appointment. Exactly. How do you know when you're feeling the juices, right? You got to call on ahead. That's that's exactly right, Chris. But can you make can you make a winning appointment? Can you be like I want to make an appointment to hey, win? But is that how it works? It is. I need you to address this comment from Mike Kunkel. Yes. Uh, he said, "Hold on, I got I got to find it." He's starting like a WWF style beef right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I mean, can, I, I can tell right Mike away. Uncle said, "Seriously, did you guys stop at Atlanta, Atlanta stop?" and ask the tweaker to get in and put her on your show. This is kind of, what's that's, your response? How do you that's a fight. That's, that's a asking compliment. for a fight. Yeah. And I will, yeah. 
and, and there's a there's infighting going on in the, in the thread. Kristen yeah. Ray is going at Mike, tell, telling him to calm down. And I love to see it. You love. Oh. It. I love yeah. to see the fights because we all win. We get the engagement on the post. We're all we winners. get people. They get to know each other because they fight a little bit, Look but then they'll, they'll end up being friends. You've won it all. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. uh, Danielle Cooper. That's the person we went to school with. Yeah, Danielle Cooper, Lower Nashville. I know exactly. I know exactly. You're right, Kristen. You're right. I know exactly. I know exactly who the person is. I do um, not. But yeah, I don't know. Like, do you go? Like, you make an appointment to go. Um, get, like, it just that's kind of defeats the purpose of the casino. Nah, I like it. The, I like it. You like it? Yeah. The whole purpose mm -hmm. of the casino is you're like with your buddies, and you're like, can we go to the casino? And then you just go. Yeah, and then no. I usually say like, I say no. Let's go anywhere else. To but the drive through strip club. No. Let's go to the yeah. Let's go to the wing spot. You when you make the appointment, you make an oh, entrance. Oh shit! You make an entrance. A second Rothbrock has joined oh, the chat. Oh my god, Matt! Oh. You do not look like my brother. Matt, are you are you in a <laughs> where are you? Are the you in double a bunker? rock. I'm uh, I'm working. What's are up? you allowed to be Work, doing this? working? <laughs> what are you doing? I, uh, picking up trees. Why is he? Why are you being so? You're being so, you're being so, you're being so, so I'm suspicious. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm picking up trees, guys. Uh. Matt, be careful what you say. This is this is live to millions of people. Yeah. 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 What's up? <laughs> for the record, guys, for the record, this is the first time I've talked to my brother in weeks. <laughs> in mm. absolute weeks, I haven't seen his face. It's good to see you're doing well. Are you at work? Yeah. Are you allowed to be doing this? You work? Sure. What's up? Mm -hmm. I don't have much time, but I, I can talk. I can talk. Matt, you got to text me. We can't, we can't let you get fired because of this show. I'm lying. Nervous. Millions, millions of people are watching this, probably like 30. And you, we don't want 30 to. 30 million. 30 million. <laughs> We're this good. is gonna get shared. This is gonna get shared to Ellen's page for uh, Okay, real quick before I let you go, how's everything going? How, how is how is everything out there? How's Every, how's the streets? The streets are good. Streets are good. You know. Um, and shout out Matt's girlfriend, Tori is a nurse and she's on the front lines. So anybody watching out there, give her a virtual high five, round of applause. Ring the bell that for Tori out there. And how how's she doing, Matt? She's good. You know, um, working a lot but yeah. trying to stay as safe as she can. Um, and she's keeping you safe. Is she keeping you fed well? She's ke keeping you uh, everything good? If, if you can't tell, she's definitely keeping me fed well. Um, <laughs> no, you look good, man. You, um, you look healthy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but she, I don't know. She she can't say much, obviously, but um, it's, it's definitely, I think it's getting better. I don't know how she feels, I'm sure her seeing it every day it doesn't feel like it's getting any better yeah. but i mean i gotta uh, see george every day and that hasn't been getting better and it's been happening for two years so you know i i can't i can't even imagine what she's seeing every day i'm glad you brought me up because there i was looking is. oh george is there back is. thank god what's up thank george what's up tyler i made a promise to you but you brought your brother on and i have to show this picture So one morning, I, I went outside, and I'm like, man, look at that truck. It's, it's, it's badass. So I took a picture of it, and uh, it was your brother, like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's him. That's that's the rig. Him and Tony, right? Him and, him and badass. I. Hey, real quick. This is how much of a star my brother is, the wow. celebrity power. Kristen says, time out. Matt was with us in Ocean City, Maryland. The guy's on the show for – no more than two minutes. He's already getting what recognized. Yeah, okay, he's got more more juice than any of us do. Well, you know, it, it's tough being me for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Matt, go back to work. Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Thanks, buddy. Later. I love George's story. I wish she would tell it again. <laughs> I love Chris, how George is uh, making weird pictures of my brother out. Yeah. Out yeah. <laughs> I'd be worried. I'd be worried. Yeah. If I was Chris, mad, I'd be pissed off. I didn't know it was him. Stop. <laughs> That's even weirder. <laughs> That's actually, yeah, weirder. it's much weirder. Weirder. No, it was a really cool, like, um, vehicle outside of my house. I wanted to get a picture of it. Uh, uh, okay, Kristen, you stopped, you stopped making sense a little bit. Uh, I don't know what you're saying about Moses, but, um, yeah, the, the Wind Creek thing, I don't know, like, uh, 
Are we big gamblers in this group? I'm not a huge. I like playing a little blackjack. I never win. Every I like day. Playing, I like playing poker. Every Kate's day. gonna lie, no matter what we say. Yeah, roll the dice the every day. There's mm-hmm. a lot of bell ringing in, in your future, Kate. Yeah, Damn. it's it's primed up. Kenny all, Rogers. He's based, my guy. It's my theme song. That was my wedding song. Based gambler. off of your every outfit gambler. alone, we have to ring the bell. Okay, you have no wedding ring on. Oh. Where's the uh, ring? Where's coming. the ring? It's coming. It's coming. Um, okay, real quick. Top commenter Karen Chrisman Laubach says Kate looks a little Janice Joplinish. Oh yeah, that's not the first time I heard that. Thank you. Okay. Thank, All right. thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the. I don't know if it's it's a good business model to only let people in. I think they might just be saying it too to make it sound like they're doing these precautionary things, and then they're just gonna go right back to buses full of people from New York. You can't day and night. You can't do it. You as soon as they it. can, they're going to do it. Yeah, I guarantee you. As soon the moment they're allowed to, because that's where they make all their money. I don't know. I mean, you are, they're like gambling on commercials and stuff now. That's what's happening. Did you know about that? What? Wait, wait, what? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about like sports betting in Vegas is gambling on things that happen. In oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gamblers are gambling on things that they don't normally gamble. Yeah, I like <laughs> made the sentence make sense, but you mm, you said mm, I said, you said it the idea. You said yeah. it better this one. Yeah. <laughs> and right. here's the thing. Gamblers, the thing? you don't need to bring the casino back. Gamblers will find things to gamble on. Every gambler knows that the secret to survival is knowing what your cards are. Kristen, big big commenter tonight. Kristen saying she doesn't care about the kind of muter. The alcohol and live acts is what she'll miss. Same, same, same. Wait, do you just get free alcohol all the time when you're there? I never True. did it. Can you can you well yeah if you're gambling? Really, you're they the just table. give it to you? It depends on how much you're getting. If you're yeah. sitting at the poker table for seven hours, they'll come bring you a drink once every hour. If you're at the blackjack table coughing up a lot of money, then they'll yeah, bring you whatever it's, you it's want. It's not very efficient. It's not efficient. Oh. And yeah, there's no it, clocks, right? Kind of like no quarantine. Clocks. It's like no quarantine. clocks. They keep yeah. it a little bit too cold, too. Mm-hmm. Well, it's 2020, Kate. If you're going into a place and looking for a clock to know the time, you're <laughs> fucked. You're absolutely fucked. It's true. Wow. Okay, George. That's all right, let's get ready to bring up the next uh, story. Um, a, a heartfelt story. It'll warm your hearts. Oh. Okay. Good. I need that. Where I we can't need wait. More positivity. Yeah, okay, not enough positivity cool. in the news. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the insane clown posse has donated Juggalo merch to make into masks. Now, let's, yes. just, let's just give a- Winning! Thanks. thanks. I mean, we, we, we love, we love the, the ICP. We love the Juggalos. We love the whole Juggalo culture. Clearly, I mean- we There's Shaggy stopped. Too Dope. There's Violent J right now out there with their virtual masks on, it seems. Yeah. Um, it's such a bad poster. All it is. Yeah, the, they didn't looks like try very COVID-19 hard. is the other, like the opening band. Yeah. <laughs> probably is you know it's like insane clown posse and our opener covid19 someone already has that band world name, by tour. The way, i'm sure world tour george can we look that up can we fact check that is there well, a, let's a pop COVID this video thing? yeah got, let's pop the video up here of, of this video, uh yeah 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 video george video of this guy giving the uh giving the goods to these people i love it warm i love the video it made me so happy to see the women who are clearly uncomfortable because the guy's wearing a giant vinyl clown mask yeah they want to accept it but they're also like do we have to yeah right. should we call the police yeah. oh <laughs> thank you look at how quickly she gets out of the way yeah well it's three basic white women like yeah. why is that middle woman even there why is she there for protection pass it off to the other person yeah <laughs> can you imagine what? why are they passing the why is she doing that can you imagine a world where the scariest person in this scenario is not the guy in the clown mask? He is not the most frightening. <laughs> yeah. I know. He's all. He's the. He's the hero in this scenario. Yeah. <laughs> Carol, you dial nine one, and if I give you the signal, dial one again. Put another one in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Um. But, but you gotta love. We gotta give a shout out to the ICP. Also, I, I would always love shout it. out the ICP. I, I would love it if the if Every the morning. Masks, if the nurse that wore the mask also has to go full paint, that's what I want. Yeah. Well, maybe they maybe they mix zinc into the paint to make that nice barrier, that antimicrobial barrier, so you can get down with the clown and stay away from COVID nineteen. I love that you know about vitamins. That's my favorite thing about you, Tim. Thank you. I I, really? I set the bar Your low, but thing. it's real low. 
Yeah, uh, super low. Yeah. Hey, George, can we look up to see if there's a, 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 a punk metal band called COVID-19 yet? Oh, we should make one if there isn't. If there's not a band called COVID-19, there definitely is. I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I love how... <laughs> yes, I'm doing that right now. Hold on. But it's funny, really. I'm not He's coming like, on. Me, and then, then, here I am researching. You, you, Wait, no. Said, you know what? No, 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 This is fun. Let's bring do this it, together. It, bring the bring We're doing this together. Are Punk we? band called COVID QCs, I'm right? Google it. Mm. Yep. Let's go to the videos. You know what? You you know what we should do? I bet they're on uh, YouTube. No, we had. Hmm. Yeah, maybe not. Go back to the. Go back. Okay. To your original search. I have to make Here? a man. Uh, no, right there. Yeah. Uh, right there. Oh wait. No, go forward. Forward. Right there. Corona. COVID. Yeah. There's a. Wait. Punk there's already a Spotify playlist. No, go down. Oh, go it's... down one more, George. Down one more. Oh, there's already two bands. Yeah, right, right there. Oh, there's already two metal bands called COVID nineteen. Perfect. You gotta hate to see it. That's the thing you hate to see. They I already love have to see an it. album. Thank you, thank you, COVID nineteen. Can you Louder imagine getting hell? that shitty, but also that forward thinking and proactive that you already have an album out? Well, one of them comes from Brazil, and they don't give a fuck. You know that they're. Brazil's president basically still doesn't think COVID nineteen is real. He's just like, nah, fuck, go to work, get out of here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Ready? We're not getting 10 total yet, seconds. Cut it. Cut it. Terrible. Cut it. Awful. I hate it. That's yeah, what I expected, this... though. I mean, if you have to expect something, it was that. Well, you know, we have keep keeping along the theme of uh, the masks and the protective gear needed for our. Uh, frontline workers. Germany, we have German doctors right now. Yeah, they are. They're taking a stand. Okay, they are taking a stand, and they're doing it in an odd way. A very German way. Typical Germans. They're getting naked. Yeah. Oh. The Germans have a whole naked. very a very weird relationship with pulling their wieners out. <laughs> we all know that about Germans, though. I think I Kate that knew that. Germans. I knew that. Everybody I knows that. that. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, they're. Yeah, I mean, you remember World War II? That was one of. The, I mean, that's what came of it. I'm not that old. Well, I know. Thank I know some other Thank things you. about World War II. Well, they couldn't exterminate everybody, so they decided to pull our wieners out as like our last way of expressing ourselves. I feel like this is a lie. Yeah, we got to ring the bell on Tim. Yeah. That's the thing. We well, ring I have the bell. So, <laughs> anyway, go ahead. What's 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 the well, story? Now, we have a picture. Now we've lost all credibility yeah. because of your story, your tall tale. You can't make a tall tale about the Germans. Those are the scariest people. If you if you don't stop this, we're gonna talk about tall tale of the movie for fifteen minutes, and I don't think you want that to happen. You don't. Oh. You can't take any of the criticism. You can give the criticism. You can't take the criticism. What's you, happening? You made a tall tale. Everyone you know out there, happened. everyone out there, if you were already familiar with Germans Posing pulling the wieners right. out, comment there's, on there's, one of our threads so we can wait, you can bolster. There's absolutely our no info. Very well known corroborating your claim that the germans like to do that oh yes you very, do, you very make, well now known. you're doubling down on the tall tale he likes to gamble see he's gambling with our minds right now mm, mm. and i don't it's like terrible. it i don't <laughs> like gambling it one with bit. my mind i truly don't like it my husband will hate it <laughs> yeah, when he, when he gets it. back he's gonna flip <laughs> out okay tell us yeah. a little bit about your husband tell us a little bit about him. um i have it officially met him yet oh okay <laughs> yeah okay. so i mean i ordered him i need a handyman tim so, okay i think you're going Tyler. about things in a in a in the wrong order okay no just i had a baby meet, listen just hear me out oh okay. typically you meet the man then you find the dress then no. you get married i think what you're doing is if you might be scaring off some men perfect <laughs> that's perfect that's perfect so um, okay very and, good. Okay, now we're getting to it. Tyler, wearing a wedding dress is a as a man deterrent. That's like the mace, you know, without her spraying it. If you I, walk around in a wedding, I dress, disagree. I disagree. I think thinks, it's a magnet. 
Yeah, it's a maybe, monster maybe he thinks I, this is my last chance. He's getting married today. I better make my move. This isn't my shot. Your, uh, your grandmother's wedding. You know, we don't do things in that order anymore. No, I borrowed hey guys, the dress. Real quick, let me just interject. I have a comment, and I don't know if this helps Tim's case. It definitely doesn't hurt it. Read the comments. So that's... Doug McKizzle, past guest, said it's hard to take somebody into custody when they have their wiener out, which is true. Hundred percent correct. And uh, also another else. another very German, very German line of thinking. Um, thank you, Doug McKizzle, for agreeing with me. Hmm. Next. Next. Well, I was talking about my wedding. So turns hey, out. Hey, you're the, the, hey, the, wait, uh, wait, real quick. Let me ask you. Yeah. Are you are you wanna um. So Joe Cuzo said, hey, guys, someone shared a watch party over on Honest Traz Virtual. Are you members yet? Is he trying to sell us on the is he trying to sell us on the bar? On Joe the Cuzo, bar? we've been members since there was fifteen hundred people Cuso, in that place. Like, I don't We're, we it's, were it's, members it's, yeah, like, week one, my man. Yeah, you got I made the membership. I originated it. He's trying to this is I got I got a post removed from Honest Honest Traz Dive Bar. But now they're 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 um trying to pitch us the group. We it's love on, the group. It's on commercial. We're in. Mainstream. I don't like it. Joe, yes. cool though. It's you guys already have a great America. product. Come on. Yeah, come on. Hey, let me ask you real respect. quick. Yeah, Kate, what's up? That's, that's right. Whole... Thank you, Joe. Is that a real eye patch you're wearing, by the way? I just, yeah, if, if you're still patch. listening, it looks like it's a real eye patch. And all, but I can't tell if it's a bit or real. If you could answer us, Joe. Either way, uh, I like it. Either I way. Love the, I love the eye patch. I always we wish I could wear an Actually, we, we, if we, you know, we need more iPads. You can bring his ass in if he wants. <laughs> mm. Yeah, if you want to come on, Joe, hop in. You or right, Trav, bring... whoever. Um, George, can we find Joe Cuzo? I, I mean, I don't know. And actually, actually, I will tell you this, Ty. Also, the other day, it, it might have been you, Joe, because I I know they don't they don't allow external like they want live feeds to originate on their page because it is yeah. better for it's better. We for the love the originating on their page. We love. But it. it's just not possible with more than one person. It's like in this way. Mm-hmm. But either way. Um, I put like we're a Lehigh Valley based thing is a cool, you know, what or whatever. Either way, thank you for letting it go because it is a cool group of people. Joe Cuzo, can you do you want to come on? Yeah, you Ring don't have to, if you want to come on now, if you want to pop in tomorrow, hey, whatever you, you want, man. Let us Ring know. Ring the bell. Ring the bell, Joe Cuzo. Ring the bell if you want. Oh, you want me, you want to Joe. I I rang the bell mistakenly. All right, everybody can ring the bell. Fine. There's a bunch of bell to be rung. That's, Plenty that's of ring in the house. Yeah. Um, um Kate, uh tell me, you're a woman. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's Have you dreamt of your wedding day? Are you one of these people? It's, I told you about my nightmares, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know you have nightmares. I know you, you can't sleep without shadow boxing uh, yourself. That's right. right. But no, I, I'm, I'm I've never been that kind of person. I've never I've never done that because I just it doesn't even feel like it's a reality thing. But since it is now, I have to tell you, when you ask your friends if you can borrow their wedding gowns, they don't like it. They think it's a little weird. Yeah, it's a little. It's 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 very weird that you have a wedding dress, and I, I don't it's know borrowed. how you. I support I support what Kate's doing. I'll tell you and that. Thank you. And I also want to quick, uh, if you're still listening, Joe Cuzo says he can't right now, but he'll set you up with Travis. Travis is obviously the Trav from Honest Travs. Honest Trav man. Uh, thank you, Love Joe. You. And uh, no, no problem, man. Crash us anytime. Maybe we could make some bloody marys together live. It'd be fun. Um, let let us- me ask you. Let me ask Joe Cuzo before he keep before he leaves. Joe Cuzo. Are you a Bloody Mary guy with vodka or are you, uh, do you do it with? Don't say tequila. No, well, people make it with tequila. That's they called do. a Bloody Maria, I believe. People also make it with whiskey. People yeah, make I it had that with... once. I did yeah. not like it at all. Did you try Have you ever had one of those, Kate? A whiskey? Bad, bad Bloody news Mary? Bears, no. dude, bad news bears. I think it's pretty no. gross. A Bloody Mary has to be with vodka. Joe Cuzo, tell me what you think. I agree. Also, if we're going to talk about Bloody Marys, which isn't one of our topics, but it's it's, it's, it's uh, mutual. It's turning into one. I'm gonna ring the bell on you. Right. You, didn't, you. You didn't lie. You didn't do anything wrong. It ran anyway. <laughs> um, Dude, my bail keeps I'm gonna say. To ring it. That's one rule. If you feel the need to ring it, you ring yeah, it. Yeah, oh, right. Uh, with, you gotta get some. Vodka all the way for Joe. That's what. That's, and why, that's why we love the men. For me, you're gonna get some horseradish in there or take it oh, back. Yeah, dude. Horseradish. Yeah. Let me Hi. I wanna stir All right, it's bacon. chicken time. Chicken time. Oh, here comes the chicken. Karen Tool says Bloody Mary, <laughs> Bloody Molly with whiskey. You're right. Oh, George, yeah. bring up Dolly. Karen too. Hello. Jane. Baby time. Baby time. Baby time. George, yeah. where's your baby? Where's the baby, George? Bring in the babies. It's She's time hiding. for babies. Hey, you don't have to hide from Kate. I know. I gotta find mine. 
Oh. Yeah, she's getting she's, married. I know she's I mean, scary. <laughs> she's scary. Like, you don't this want will to never happen to you. Don't worry. You're looking at the <laughs> ghost on. of the future. You don't want to be that. This is no. not what you want to turn into. No, no. She's differently. <laughs> Look at how scared she is of what she doesn't want to become. I know. That's <laughs> not true. Oh, <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> not Kate. Oh. Not, not, not Kate, Kate. But Kate is a, is a representation of something. A representation not, of Kate. Of, 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 no, you're not a representation of Kate. I would love to be Kate. I would. It's a, it's a great gig if you can get it. You know? Look, at, she's got two rolls of toilet paper. She gets to dress how she wants. Yeah. Constantly. Constantly. Yeah, dress up. Are you bringing Dolly in? Because that's the only way you yeah. can get on this show. The, yeah, well, I made an announcement. She better be coming up. Made it, get the baby. Bring the baby. Bring the baby. Oh. Alexa, make an announcement. What's the announcement? Yeah, I know. Dolly, are you coming up here or what's the deal? Emmy's ringing the bell. She's oh, had yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. Tyler, I can't yeah. wait to have more children to call them. She doesn't know what to Dolly, are you coming up here? Oh, oh well, here. Yeah. Crystal yeah. Bell, ring the bell. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feels like a lot. Crystal, explain <laughs> Dolly's response. <laughs> ring that bell, Emmy. <laughs> well, come in here and tell them what Dolly has said. Oh, she no, said. she's a. Uh, She's playing her her uh, her game. She doesn't. She won't come up here. <laughs> no. That makes sense. She goes. She goes. Dad, I'm playing with games. <laughs> well, this baby can't really talk yet, so she can't yeah. sass me yet. She like, goes, it's like, it's like I get the same way. response from Tyler as I do my daughter. Every day. <laughs> yeah. I, like it's unbelievable. I'm like Dahlia, come upstairs and talk. Nope. All right. Nope, she's playing hey, her game. Crystal, Crystal, come give on. Dahlia a, a, a fist pound for me because me and her are on the same side. All right, same side. <laughs> I'll Indeed. give you one too. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be here either. <laughs> My four-year-old we... daughter is like, nope. Yeah, I love uh, it. I love it. She could have been a star. She could have been. Um, Joe Cuzo, thanks, buddy. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely hook something up. Uh, shotgun some beers, my man. Um, we have a couple stories uh, before we get to. I, I've also. I want to wrap up. I have a. I have a little like a debate. We should have started with this, but. Um, I was in a conversation with somebody via text, okay? And uh, that person, they know, they know who they are. They, they do? Use, oh, that's good. They know who they I are. I know who I am. Yeah, you know Thanks. who you are. Um, first, and also, Kate, who, you, nobody's doing this. That's how I text. Nobody's doing that. I was talking to this person. Tim, let me get, get you up to speed. I was texting with somebody, a friend. Mutual friend of the show, actually. Mm -hmm. Who knows and, who um, they are? They know who they, they are. Know, they'll know, because what I said, I'm going to use this in the show. And they used an emoji, but they didn't know what the emoji standard stood for. Oh, what so is you, it? Do you guys realize, like, there hasn't been a universal what each emoji means seminar? Like, like the alphabet. Which yeah. uh, which emoji are we talking about exactly? Here? Yeah, can you show uh, us? I wish, wish I could figure out how was to Was it like it. a dirty one? Is it like the eggplant or the, no, or the no, no. Or Which emoji is it? I can bring it up. I'll send oh, it to I you. Feel, yeah, send it to George. And don't say what it is because I want to guess it. I love games. I'm trying I to think, think which one could be, is. which one could possibly mis be misconstrued. I don't know. Yeah, take it, maybe this one, before, this one, this one where it's like this, where I, it's like. I yeah, think it's, said, I think it's an eggplant. No, what it's not. I just, I just texted it to you. This is winning, right? Winning? Yeah, something like that. Okay, what's that? I think is that it, something? Maybe it's maybe you have it right. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's more I, of a I W. It's, it's the one with the two hands like this. That There's people... this. This one is hello. Oh no! You know what? <laughs> Tyler is very correct on it. Hold on a second. He's very right. This is a weird one. Hold on. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna take me a second. I have to... I, well, well, in have... the meantime, if you're if you're still listening, send us comment a confusing an emoji that that you you're not like sure when to use it you know because yeah. like there's not a universal guide on what each emoji the face face means you know it's time it's time for that yeah like like for example my mom who's a big fan of the show just posted a bunch of smiley faces with hearts on them when i when i showed chicken we all know what that means very, so don't, very so, easy to figure out what that right means. that one's he very loves straightforward her granddaughter see yes, certainly it does she loves it. Boom. but right. you link Next, that up perfectly I, look at me particular Genius. emoji i sent very misleading and that's that's not alone it's not the only one wait so mm -hmm. you sent it tyler or this I, other person no, the other person sent it and okay. i was like oh damn like you know and then i thought it meant a bad thing they thought it meant a good thing and ah. now look at us you know Jur jury's still out we don't know yet we don't know what it means yet well, yeah i mean i mean, I mean are, we, are you greasing you can, the emoji machine, this, this, is being, 
the hell's going on here? Annoying. I'm so there's no good way to do I feel this. Like I want to do this. The, the thing is, like that's a, there's a there's a miscommunication. There's a communication breakdown over the emoji, and it's oh. it, it causes. Uh, can you text me? Can you text me the emoji, please? I'm just having issues here. I want to see all right. the emoji as well. You can't see it. I want to see it. Okay, you're a married woman. You can't see it. <laughs> oh, Karen, it Karen Tool says crossed arms. To me, crossed arms means like back off, like get away. That's what it's. Oh. Oh, a smirking face? This is not it, George. You, it, I feel like that's a commercial. That's what you like said. Wait, you got to scroll down. I can't see. You got to close some of those windows, my man. You're, yeah, you're, you eat, you're eating up all yeah. your processing power. What are you more doing? More ice. Oh, now I want ice. Now I want more ice. I never even had any. I'm you know, not doing this on purpose. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of them. Like, oh, that is that's the one that George just pulled up, Ty. I, is this more? I, I couldn't Which see. One? Yeah, the, right there. Top, yeah. oh, it's, all the same. it's all the same. The top so, one to me, that's an innuendo. Uh, like you're saying, ah, right? Ah, you get what I'm saying? Oh, like yeah. You kind of like. Uh, do you want to try that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Person, well, maybe I'm wrong then, because I took think? it as a, as a bad thing, you know. And the person said it like, not a bad idea, you know, not a bad idea. Not a oh, bad. Oh yeah, idea. like, huh? Huh? Never thought of that. Huh. But in my mind, it was like, really, dude, really. Really? Oh no, I don't take it like that at all. I take it as like uh, almost flirtatious. Flirtatious. Well, flirtatious. Interesting. You can't. You don't see it as that, Kate. I mean, I, I, now I see it as like that. like if I text you and said we should we should meet up and talk about the show, right? That would be a, a thing that says we should talk about the show. And if you said Correct. yeah, we definitely should wink face to Ew. me, that'd be like that's, that's a weird a... thing for you to. But it wouldn't be a, a negative a thing. Face. That would be like a it'd be weird, right? I'd be but drunk. Is, I'd but be drunk. Yeah. So drunk. it'd be just a regular, it'd be regular you. <laughs> Mike Fru sends a good one. That's a, I, the, the one that Mike <laughs> drunk on seltzer and power. <laughs> yeah. The one that Mike Fru just sent is is the worst, are, are arguably the worst emoji of all time. Oh, it's what the, is it? The, the, the flat face thing. And a dash for the mouth. What is oh. that? I actually don't know how to interpret that one. Like you're you never use that. If somebody uses that with you in conversation, they hate you, you got it. They, they, they hate you, right? They yeah, they're done. You gotta, Steve, you gotta, Steve Burns quick uh, said that the WWE NXT show got moved to Friday, September 11th at Wing Creek Event Center. So September 11th, pay tribute to your country by yeah, watching good. WWE at the Wind Creek Event Center. I'll tell you this. WWE. I'll tell you this. If there's one way to not let the terrorists win, it's you have a WWE event on September 11th. It is right. NXT, by the way. We've never had a WWE-centered uh, podcast. We probably never will. But... Uh, NXT is like the the B list guys, so it's like the people you've never heard of. Well, so it's not it's not like 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 Stone Cold wouldn't have been there anyway. But that level of people is not going to be at NXT. Oh, I know wrestlers. Uh, hey Paul Tim, Hogan. thanks for hijacking, and you know, we had a good thing going with the emojis. <laughs> uh, but well, you read you read a comment, and then I read a comment. But oh, now that I, oh, now that let, I think, let me, okay, let me read a comment to you to get us back on track. I, I know which one. I'm reading it at the same time it. as you. Tim, I hate to do it. He this loves comment, to do it. Looks like this comment comes it. from Mary Dodo Fry, the mother oh. of host Tim Fry. Mary Dodo Fry says, I am so lost, I had to ask Tim what the eggplant meant. Oh. You texted your mom the eggplant, you sicko. You my, da man. my dad's name, my dad's Locker. name is Tim. That's the Tim she asked. She wouldn't no, say no, to no, me. No, no. She wouldn't call me no, Tim on this. No, you said your that. mom the eggplant. Ring it. Ring that bell. Oh, gross. I'm not ringing it. I'm not ringing it. Kristen, <laughs> Kristen Marie says Mary. Mary. I know. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Mary, block, block your son. He's yes, Karen. Thank you. That's what I mean. Block. Like, uh, like never. Right. Exactly. That's I'm. I'm with Karen Tool. Karen. Finally, I, I, Karen. Karen, I respect your opinion, but I disagree with it. I think it's flirtatiousness. I love it. No, it's it's true. Karen's yeah, never wrong. The, the one that the, the where's guy? Kunkel? Well, you know, Mike Kunkel was on this thread. He would he would be helping me right now, at least to diffuse this this. My mom. Is he an argument? He had to go. He went to work. Here. I think he went to work. Well, we oh. could have okay. I we work for the I same think, place, so. I think he clocked in. I think he's. Wait, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, hold on. Stephen R. Burns. Stephen R. Burns. He's just saying it. Show but. your face. If you're going to make a claim like that, show your face. Uh-oh. Show your face, man. Fighting words. Mm. Steve, get Stephen R. Burns, and he says Music Fest is canceled. Show his face. I think he's lying. That's fake news. Oh, fake news. Yeah. Mm. <laughs>
Um, I wish I could see these comments, but I can't do two I, things. At once. I can't. I can't send me his info. Despite the fact that you could do two things at once, Kate, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> you definitely I can't. could. This but is you could I got a lot going on. You couldn't maintain that constant pose. <laughs> it's very difficult. So, so basically, moral of the story is: I think we need a universal a seminar, a webinar. We could do it now. People have a lot yeah. of time on their hands. Let's get all the emojis. Let's let's get like we it's all go on the idea. same page with what they mean. I can, can do, do I could do PowerPoint. I know how to do that. Do a PowerPoint. I'll we want a PowerPoint. slide for each emoji if you can. All right, I'll do it. I'll, something to work on. Thank you. Hey, Honest Trav says, yo, 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 what's up? What's up, There's Honest Trav? The legend himself. Yo, yo, um, yo. You want to come in, Travis, or you yo, want to wait so. till tomorrow when we have more time? Up to you. We got some time. We got Yeah, time. hop in. George, send Travis a link, please. First of all, Stephen R. Burns said, his mom said that Music Fest is canceled, so it must be true. Listen, Steve, oh, I don't got time for that bullshit. It. I don't yeah. got time for that bullshit, man. I don't got time. Can you send that to him? I just sent you the link. Uh, uh, to can, yeah, hold on one sec. It might be easier. I can try to send it, but... Nah, I'll do it quick. It, you know what? I'll, I'll send it to him, too. Travis Linamore likes the I party. sent it already. Like He's get, got it. I, I, I want to get Travis's take on the... Uh, on the Bloody Mary debacle and the emoji debacle. And the emoji, because, yeah. Listen, it's a problem. It's a problem that we're and having. It's, it's a huge good, problem. It's if huge. we're going to take a shot, which we haven't yet, the leader of the shot-taking group oh, is the guy to do sure. it with. Oh, I have to get my shot. Yeah, your seltzer water ain't going to fly tonight. Where is it? Little lady. Where's my husband? If, if, you, if you eat a Lysol wipe, that'll <laughs> count. <laughs> mm. So I can I have something to say about my wedding dress. So would okay, you tell me when I, when I have time to talk me too just talking sorry kate sorry mm, you, ha you know go well, ahead you, you were saying that wearing something like this would scare off a man you really think that uh it yeah yeah so i have so okay because i was i had this brilliant idea so um, i've been i've been out i've been out of the game for a little bit took a knee right mm -hmm. and then you know how people are uh tyler you're single so people are probably all the time like oh god i know i know someone i know someone they don't, they don't do that to me they have a pulse. You should meet them, you know? And then you're like, oh, oh, I'm okay. And then they just keep doing and forcing and forcing. And finally you're like, fine, I'll meet him. So meet up, I go on a group date and I like the guy. I think he's nice. He, he gets my number right away. He asks me to go out again. I think he's really funny. We laugh all night. And my idea was he was coming to my house to pick me up for dinner. I was gonna wear a wedding gown when he came to the door. This is a Tim. Ring the fucking bell. Ring that. You know what? I was doing something. Kate, was... hey, you you had. He me. wasn't listening. Yeah, see, this is this is bullshit. You had me. I listened. This Tim. and you lied. He called you, you Tim. Tyler. I I swear. I swear on my grandmother's grave. I do not. I do not lie about that. I swear. You you thought to go to this first date in a goddamn no no wedding no, no no. He was coming to my house to pick me up, and I was going to open the door like this. And you had never met him. No, no, I met. We met one time, but this has been our first official date. And I thought hey, I, you have well, to know that's that's one of the, that's the worst idea. I I don't think so. I think that if he had a really good sense of humor, he would laugh. I would get changed, and we would go out on our date. The wedding dress would. Sk that, that's not the right costume, because you're wearing a costume. Right, you're wearing right a costume. costume right now. I think it's the right costume for an official first date. Steve, well, <laughs> don't know don't what to say. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Cause that, I mean, the ladies can comment. That's funny. So if a man sees you, you open the door and he sees this and he's like, <laughs> and you're like, all right, let me get changed. If, if, if the first time you're going on an official first date and I show up on the date and you open the door and you're wearing a wedding dress. Well, I can't do it to you. Well, but no, go ahead. this is a hypothetical. Okay. Thing, okay. And you're in a wedding dress. Yeah. I'm I'm so scared. Be, not because how do you have one? I think that's hysterical. Like that's part of it. I'm like I'm frightening him right it's in the part beginning. Part of why it didn't work out. I think it's funny, but I also think it's terrifying. For the yeah. I, I feel bad for the poor guy. I think if he has a good sense of humor, he would find it quite hilarious. Karen Karen agrees with Kate. She said if it happens, he gets her. He gets. But me. then where do you go from there? What do you guys? Do? Hey guys, I, I'm interrupting you because I don't care. We have a celebrity guest, Tyler. I'm not even gonna. Do time to introduce him. Let's go and rock and roll. Let's ask this guy then. 
Who do we got? He has a good oh my God, we got the. Tr oh, okay. Thank you, George. Sorry, no, Travis. Trav I was Star himself, Travis. I was, what's I was, up? Uh, I was trying to do it to your cell phone, and I was screwing it up. So sorry about that. <laughs> thank you, George, for getting it right. Good baby. What up? What up? What up? Oh. How are we doing, man? What's 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 good over there in the bar tonight? So uh, yeah, so we're building a um a real actual true bar. We're remodeling the whole basement, so. We're, we're going crazy. And, you know, my I got I to gotta drink professionally, so it's kind of hard to build this shit drunk. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going through 6,000 bottle caps because that's, that's about what I drink every week. You know, no big deal. Right. Um, makes sense. And uh, we're going to put them down all over. Uh, oh. Over the top of the bar and then epoxy over top epoxy of Epoxy over yeah. top of that, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mm. Probably going to spell something like, you know, what's, honest grab or something. Travis, what's the, uh, what's the drink of choice tonight? What do you, what are you rocking tonight? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going with the lights of Amstel. Um, okay. I'm getting a little right. classier. I've yeah. been, th th this Very Natty nice. light, this Natty Very light nice. is running me faster than shit through a goose. So I got to switch to something a little more substance. All right. I've and you want to do a shot with us and oh. we, we gotta do, we'll do a shot with the legend right now. Oh, I sure fucking do. Okay. Cool. 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 So for a shot, what I'm going to be doing is I'm always trying to support the Valley here. Triple sun spirit city Mayus. We're going to have a little vodka. Hell yeah. So likewise, I'm going to do the same thing. Social still, we got a little folklore uh, whiskey here. It's beautiful. All right. I, I'm ashamed to say I have billion dollar company Jack Daniels, but it's all I got right now. <laughs> I'm and, also and very Gates, ashamed Gates of everything. Drink, <laughs> Gates eating the Lysol packet. All right, cheers, y'all. I'm taking a picture. I'm taking cheers. a picture. One, two, three. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. Ooh. Travis, can I, can I talk to you? Like, th this thing you created, man, it's, it, yeah. it's taken off like a fucking rocket. Right. Yep. What did you, you have? Yeah, I'm sorry. To, but did you have any idea in the yeah. beginning that it would blow up like this? Um. So, yes and no. Um. The thing is, is that I've always worked a really professional job, corporate America, and I always kind of played around. Like I only got on Facebook a couple years ago. I'm not on any other social media platform, and everyone always yells at me. I've always been. Um, you know, like a makeshift stand-up comedian. And every time I've ever tried it, I've brought the complete room down. But I've always been worried about like what I, what I can do content-wise and creative-wise because I did lose a couple of jobs over it before. So, <laughs> you know, when I came back, um, I actually went on a vacation for my 40th birthday to Turks and Caicos. And we were down there when all this happened. And it was like a, like a nightmare getting back. And yeah. I came back. And for the first time in my adult life, I had like bad anxiety attacks again and shit. And I just said to my wife, I'm going to make a private group so I can go back to being myself and being like being like the animal that I am and the uh, drinking champion that I am. And I'm just going to let my my private friends in. And then within like three fucking days, it was like five thousand people. And I'm like, let's <laughs> just rock and roll. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's per well, we were in. I got invited in. I don't know. I think you probably have friends that are our friends, which is because I was in when there was like a thousand people and the Dugans brought me in or Chris Lewis or the Dugans. I forget which yep. one. I don't know if you know either one of them. But um, it was one of them brought me in. And then I just was like, a week and a half goes by and there's 15,000. And then it's 25,000. And now it's four. To, if you worked for a corporate company and you brought their Facebook group from zero to 40,000 in one month, you would be, you'd be the all-star of the company. Yeah. Because and, and, the, and the thing is, is that I've worked for two different companies where I did do some really good stuff. I can never say I did anything like that. Yeah. Um, but my style isn't corporate America. So I'm, I'm, I was just... I was just done putting bumper stickers on a Ferrari, baby. I'm going to yeah. let it rip. So, Trav, well, you know what? Oh, sorry. I got a question for him, right? Like you know, everybody fancies themselves an all-star drinker, an all-star partier. What right. was the moment or the story that you look back the next morning or whatever happened where you were like, God damn, I'm elite. I'm elite at this. I did it. I made it. Win. Well, that's that's more like your career lifetime achievement because the, <laughs> the thing is, the thing about that is, is I've had my rough moments too. You yeah. Know? I, I was, I was a high school kid that, that drank Zimas with Skittles in them and then refused <laughs> to drink beer and had my friends go get me Arbor Mist, you know? So I wasn't always, I wasn't always this sophisticated okay. drinking robot. You see yeah. now this is the finished product. It takes time. I'm in my ultimate form right now, you know? Right. Very nice. Yes. Yeah. You have to, what? you have to ride across the bridges of Hemdale on majestic steeds <laughs> right, right. So right. You, on, you, on you slip would, near you would compare yourself more you were you didn't come out of the high school like the lebron phenom you had to put time in and hone your skills and become the final product over time you're a journeyman trap yeah well in high, in high school i you know i i was i was uh more of an athlete i guess and i, I played some basketball so I, I got to party sometimes but i never got to be full-time 
And then I became like a full time loser out of high school. So like from 18 to 22, I was just like, I was always been cool and I've always been nice. I've never been in trouble with the law or never like been in fights or anything like that. I just love to drink beer. It just tastes so good. And I could dance so awesome on it. Fuck yeah, yeah. dude. All, yeah. all truths. All yeah. Crab, have truth. you had any, you're, you know, you have this group with all these people in it. Is there, have you found newfound fame? Are you people recognizing you out in the wild? Yeah. So that's, what's really neat. Like I, I've all, everyone's always kind of known me in this little town, but now it's like really freaking crazy. And of course I'm really trying to respect social distancing. Um, once this shit's over, I'm going to blow up even more because once I can actually get in front of people and they realize this isn't fake and this isn't a, a scammer, I, I have pictures and videos of me being and acting like this for, for my whole life. This is how I am. Um, so, so as far as something crazy, I went um, the other day to go get gas and, uh, and some ice and stuff like that at the gas station next door. And as I'm getting there, the guy pumping gas next to me goes, yo, are you honest, Trav? I'm like, yeah, man, I am. He's like, hey, me and my kid are big fans of you. Would you sign something for me? So I'm like, all right. <laughs> I guess I'll sign something for you. I signed a pack of Camel Wides. And, Perfect. Uh, Perfect. I signed a pack of Camel Wides, and then he said, I'm going to get another pack because I want to open these. And then just like an hour later, when I was getting pizza, I'm walking out to my car, and a mother and a daughter, you know, probably 20 and 40 or 20 and 50 years old, like, are you on a strap? I'm like, yeah. She's like, will you sign something for me? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, all right, well, sign the top part of my boob. I'll get it tattooed. So, I mean – if I'm signing that's boobs a big and, and camel that's wives a big already, buddy, I oh, fucking yeah. made it. You made it. You made it. You made it. Okay, yeah. well then, okay, this brings me to, and you guys can, if you have another question, but I have just one more for Trav. Lay it down. Listen, uh, I can talk about myself all night. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but, like you know, there's a lot of people out there that there might be looking for some guidance and advice. Maybe some guy is about to turn 21, some, you know, some girl about to turn 21. They're trying to be awesome. They're trying to, fucking hook it up like travis does what advice are you going to tell somebody to you know rip it like you do well for one you just got to authentically be yourself if you like to drink white claws if you like to drink wine if you don't like beer who gives a fuck what someone says about you just just be yourself and, and let it go people people gravitate to towards people who are authentic and they gravitate towards people who aren't you know stuffed in this little cookie cutter box and the other thing is too is you got to fucking man up sometimes and just chug some fucking beer and throw up a little bit. You're never going to find out where your limits are unless you push them. If you never, if someone says to me, I never threw up drinking, well, then you're a, you're a pussy. Where's your limits at? <laughs> right. We, right. Most of us got that out of the way when we were 17. No, I, to set I the feel bar. I, I know Tom's going to get mad at me. I got to come in. He no, I, 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 I love it. You inspired George to be himself for once in his goddamn life. George, I love it. Yeah. I'm right. inspired. I'm pumped. White claw. <laughs> But Travis, uh, no. yeah, it's a lot of white. We appreciate yeah. you coming. Well, real quick, uh, hold on, Todd, because I wanted to say something. But I'm not, sure. Travis almost stole, basically stole the thing I wanted to say by you asking him the question. But I was going to say that the success of your group is can be is the success of anybody is when you are authentically yourself. It's no matter exactly. who you are, even if what you are is what I consider to be like lame, it doesn't matter because everyone else out there is on your page. So if you can be yourself. Whether you're whether you're really quiet and reserved, you're introspective, or you you're you're an extrovert, it doesn't matter. You have to try to be yourself, and people are going to gravitate towards you. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, yeah, I, love, I love that. That's what you're doing, and it's working in real time, right now. Yeah, you know, and like the thing is, is like even the drop the axe for everybody, guys. It's like the the thing is this is that there's winds all around you. You just got to identify them and understand what they are. And when I have I have multiple and I'm telling you, like, I'm, I'm telling you, I got maybe 50 to 100 private messages from people in various forms that say, hey, this is really saving me right now. Hey, I'm really meeting new friends right now. I work with about 10 other people and I help them produce their own shows and get their own audiences and get them something to do. And and like, like, it, it sounds really tacky, but honestly, like, I've always lived a good life. I've always had had good looking women and I've always had good paying jobs and I've always been the cool guy. I'm helping everybody else kind of like really shine a little bit. That's uh, fucking special, man. Hell yeah. And real quick, before we let you go, there's a Mike Fru says his wife just confirmed about your Zima story, Lee Height and Proud. So I just want to say this guy is himself. He don't shy away from it. <laughs> oh, you know what? Another thing about the group that I that I personally like just because I used to have a job. Well, I still do basically of, of managing social media accounts and shit your moderators and your admins are so fucking fast and it is very much appreciated they take down the dumb memes that end up 
drowning every group out there. They take down the shithead guys who are creeping out every girl. Yeah. Um, shout out so, to Rob Rivera. Shout out to yeah, Rob Rivera. All those, oh, whoever's, yeah, whoever's doing that, Rob, everybody, if there's anybody else, they're doing a perfect job. Cool. Yeah, I, I picked a really good mod team and they really work hard. It's really awesome. Um, and, and some people get offended and that's fine. Like it, the thing is, is that social media sucks because people have developed terrible habits and we're trying to break those habits and re-educate people on how to have fun online. It's possible. You just kind of have to try not to be a douche. Right. right. And you know what? That's yeah. kind of the whole moral of the story. And, you know, what you're letting people do. And that's kind of what we try to do over at Leah Valley as well. You're trying to, you want people to just have some fun. You're trying to facilitate fun. And right now, more than ever, people need fun. People yeah. need fun. Absolutely. Yeah. We appreciate Smart. it. Travis. Smiles underrated. Thanks for having me. Anytime you guys want me on, send me a text. Yeah, I'll, I'll thank you so much on. for coming on, man. Appreciate it. And thanks for right, letting thanks us for the love. in the group. <laughs> thank you so much, Trav. All right. See you guys. Thanks. Bye. Have a good well, that was fun, guys. That was fun. This, that's all it's all about. I mean, we, Kate, how do you feel? I feel like I could drink that guy under the table. You Are we on a... Uh... I would love, I would love right now. I'm not even going <laughs> to let him... I'm not even going to let Tim ring the bell because no, I want you to say I won't do it. right now that you would challenge Travis do it. to, a, do shot, it. to a, a shotgun, yes. a beer shotgun. We're recording. Say it. say it right now. Say it out of your own mouth. I, I challenge you, Travis. <laughs> Sorry. Come on. Oh, what is it, a beer shotgun? I've never yeah. done that before. I can't All right. Do what, what's, what do you think you could be Travis in? I could do drink drink to drink. I could, I could drink to drink. drink. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Like like a chug, like a chugging, like a like a like a like a like a slug yeah. down a drink. Yeah, Ooh, baby. Mm -hmm. Ooh, baby. I'm yeah. not gonna ring the bell because I don't even. This is too far in out in the stratosphere of a lie. I'm not afraid. Utilize the bell. I told you I was a gambler. And can I tell you guys? I will gamble. No, no, I mean, we're all here. I won't even go to Wind Creek. I will gamble. <laughs> I take Travis 100 to one. We're we all here all together. Place bets. We can place bets on it. I'm done. Gonna, done. He's done going deal. down. Travis done. going down. <laughs> We're all because this, this, this is gonna be over in in 15 seconds, so it's not gonna make a difference. But I will tell you, this is pretty neat. How we're all here yeah. together, us three, the team don't mm -hmm. don't even know Kate in real life at all. <laughs> and the guy I, I, again, I don't mean to interrupt, but Son Travis, of a bitch! Jesus Christ! No, no, all we asked George to do is shut up. He, and he comes in, he George. It. We were rolling. We had a good episode. No, before. but yes. Travis has already accepted her challenge. Yes. Yeah, I, of course. Like he's already, he's, he's already in. like, he's already in. We, I, I'm sorry. We guys. believe I, in Travis. Oh, right now, now. I hate to bet against a co-host, but you know, easy money is easy money, Kate. Yeah, I'll bet against Kate. the co-host every Kate. day. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be funny George. though if Kate like could polish off a bottle of wine in like one second, mm -hmm. like something crazy? Mm -hmm. um but hey, anyhow listen, it is cool I, I would that love, tonight, I would love it did, to stand corrected on this i would love it it is cool yeah. that it, it happened on its own without forcing anything that yeah the groups crossover i think that's pretty neat yeah, yeah. Pretty sweet. Um, and also I, we only have like a minute left but ty do you do you, you may i thought of this while we we're mocking kate i'm sorry kate it's fine. We, we, we love you deep down yeah. um do you remember and, and, up, and up top we love you not just deep down but we love you <laughs> but you're gonna and the lose, middle you're gonna lose this drinking challenge i am not i'm not a loser I'm a winner, like that emoji. Okay, all right. That's what I am. All right, Travis is Travis is coming back in. Because <laughs> he's all nervous. Right. I like it. I nervous. like it. Yeah, he's shaking. Do you hear the? Oh. Did you hear the challenge, Travis? Did His you audio it? is not hooked up yet. He is. Hey, so he can't even do it. He's. So no, out. he'll be back. I'm He's not worried. He'll out, be man. back. I'm, I, I'm not worried. Well, Todd, do you remember when we were maybe it wasn't that long ago? We were like 25, so it was a couple of years ago. But when we tried to uh, funnel wine with sangria, we remember we funneled yeah, sangria. Terrible, terrible idea. And no one survived it. No one no, felt good. No idea. one did well. We're yeah, the kids do not. I think Don't we do we beer bonged wine. Not a good idea. Oh, bad All idea. Right. All right, we got Travis. Travis he couldn't have accepted any faster than he did, Kate. You you fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Kate pour, listen, listen. I love the whole wedding dress thing, but you challenged the champ. Pour a whole glass, a whole drink into a whole glass, and let's roll. Let's do it right now. Yeah, let's, let's do the fucking it. Lily. I don't schedule yes. fucking challenges. Oh, 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 baby, I love the this. World. All right, what are we, what are you drinking though? What are you drinking? I have an Amstel Light. It doesn't light. matter. All right, fine. Give me a minute. A 12 ounce oh. alcoholic beverage poured into a glass. It don't matter. You're going down. 
This is like well, McGregor. What are, what are, got, so what are the rules? It's like the fastest, right? It's all about fastest. But it's time trial. There's, 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 right. You know, like you, you can't deny it. It's, it. It is what it is. The faster person wins. 12 ounce beverage, alcoholic, poured into a glass, winner wins. Okay, okay wait, real quick before we do this, I'm putting $100 on Travis. $100. Okay. I think, Tim, I think Tim is entering the game. Yeah, it's not my If there's any takers oh, yeah. on my $100 bet, I'll pay you five to one odds. Wait, wait, who are you taking? Travis. But I want I want to see what the setup is here before I <laughs> wait. Bet. Real quick, Doug McKizzle comments: Travis has to put on a wedding dress. That's not going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen this time. No, hey, listen, yeah. listen. Just if you go back into my page a couple days ago, for forty thousand people, Who? I went as Travis Forty Hands, went in complete dress. I mean, complete goth and eight forties in my hand. I'm not yeah. afraid of a wedding dress. Yeah, he, he he ain't scared. He ain't scared. He's not scared. Love, all right, all right. Is it pouring it? I know we're seeing it. All right. I don't drink beer. I feel like this isn't a fair fight. I, I, like I do want to shout out that so I do want to shout out that Kate does have a pretty. That's a Yingling. That's a. I respect that you have a Yingling on just at ready. I do respect that. It's for my I husband. Do too. Thank you. Okay. Put my, put my I, I am honored to be in the presence of this happening. I just want that to be known. Wait. So can what do you what do you, can I put my finger in here to make the phone? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You can put your finger anywhere, Kate. <laughs> when, when you're when you're ready to go, so the rules are this that. is we're chugging. Is that what we're doing, Travis? Yeah, you put the beer down. We show both hands, and when we say okay. go, grab the beer chug. Okay. Now, I think this is the best way to meet you. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm winning already. Yeah, in a wedding dress, everybody's happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just stirring it up. You know, like a regular beer. Yeah, mentally prepare, Kate. She's putting so it off. So, what, so right. what we're gonna do is this: we're gonna put the beers down. I'm gonna go one, two, three, go, which actually Wait. means you go on four. So then you pick up the beer, you chug it. Don't spill it. You gotta finish it. First huh. one down to the table wins. You're gonna win. Well, but I'm gonna I'm fight. A big, a good, I'm gonna fight a good fight. I'm a big hairy American you. winning machine, girl. You don't call me out when I fucking hang up ever again. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I love it. Yeah. Hey, come on. I want Kate. I need you to do. I know. This. I want to win really badly. All right, here we go. Hands up, Kate. Hands up. Winner. Are you ready, Kate? I've never been more ready. So it's Travis. on four. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Drink. Don't give up, Kate. Damn it! You gotta finish ah, it. Kate, so you gotta finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. That's the champ. In a wedding That's dress. That's the champ. I respect it. I love it. All right, Travis now wins. Watch this. Just because I respect you guys. Woo! This is the honest. This is the honest trap three-piece tool hanging off this bling right here. Wait, okay? did you put a hole in the bottle? Is that what you did? Oh, he's like doing another one. Oh. Hell yeah. I'm gonna That's throw up. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> trap, trap, you. I can't wait to buy all of the crap that you're gonna sell. <laughs> Actually, Trav, where can people go to get some of that stuff? Is there a is there a divebarshop.com? Divebarshop.com. I just, just want to buy all the stuff that that Trav is selling. I just want to buy it. Divebarshop.com. And listen, if you anybody let, you out let, there, you let, you let your entire fantastic audience know. I never back down from an alcohol challenge. Tag me. That's, I will be on that. Is abundantly obvious now. Barry. Thank you. Yeah. I love it. Hey, listen, we got a bunch of people. If you think you could beat the man, step up, step up, step up. Yep. Come on into practice. the ring. Muhammad Ali will I'm knock out people in the audience. That's the, it. The, the time is now. Oh Travis, thank you, buddy. That was awesome. All right, see you guys. Oh. Thanks, Trevor. I have hey. never done that before. Hey, I, I do respect it, though. I do. I, I didn't know you had to keep drinking. I thought when he's, he won, I put it down. No, you well, got to respect it. thing. It's a, it's a matter of respect that if you, you you finish it out of respect, which you did, and we're proud of you. Yeah. Thank you. I got it, dude. Honestly, I think Kate put up a better fight than I would have. I'm terrible at doing that. Terrible. I'm it's really disgusting. bad at chugging. Also, I suck at it. Oh, dude. It's, yeah. I gotta practice. I think I gotta. I think I gotta <sighs> step up my game. I want to get in the mix. I want to get in the game, man. I want you to too. It feels I good. Feel like I feel, I feel like a like, winner. Yeah, I feel like like a like a coach just talked me like we're about to go second half. Yeah, and like, you know, let's this see is the best honeymoon I've ever had. <laughs>
So yeah, a lot of people are saying Kate. Shout 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 out to Kate that she did a great job. That, Thank that, you. that was impressive, man. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, but <sighs> how do you feel, Kate? Do you feel I, I like feel you? Full. Is is that wedding dress? Um, is it got some give in it? <laughs> I'm starting to fit now. A yeah, better. Right? yeah. Oh man, I just like I can't. We can't really. Uh, Mike Fru says he wants to see a picture of the bar Travis builds in his basement after he wants to see what you, you make tonight. Yeah. But, uh, Guys, I am was, all fucked up over here. I'm sorry. Give me one second. My my power went off from the storm and really? screwed up something with my headphones. So I can't hear you. I can just hear really loud screeching noises, Perfect. which is basically the same Perfect. as hearing you. Yeah, not, much has changed. But, <laughs> not much has changed. Jesus Christ, this is mm. unpleasant. Are you, you got it back? Are you all Built back? Own. Okay, was that really your first beer chug of your life? Of my entire life, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. No, I swear. I swear to God. I don't do, do stuff like that. Do you feel buzzed a little? Um, not yet. <laughs> is, that, is that bad? Oh, like, did okay, I do can you it hear me? Yes, yeah, we, we can yeah. hear you. No yeah. loop? You don't hear double or anything? No. A little bit. A little double action. Um, like do you think it's double. something that you're going to... Uh, bring in your life i think so i think i should try yeah i mean i'm very good at it that's <laughs> pretty clear well I, I think what you should do is you should we have a lot, all the time in the world sit at home with a stopwatch and just get that time down just time it a okay. rematch a rematch to trap i, I would feel love it. if if any of our fans are are listening that think they can challenge travis i would love to see somebody step up to the plate i yeah. would love to see it okay anybody out there uh, I, I don't know. That guy, he smashed that pretty fast. I'll be honest. I know. That was really fast. See, I didn't know the rules. So you just keep drinking no matter what. Yep. Okay. You just got to keep going. You just okay. got to keep going. I didn't know. And what a thirsty Thursday this has been. I know. This has been awesome. This is perfect. Uh, yeah, this is why Travis, Travis is, I'm a big WWF fan, as you know, from the, from the heyday. He is a perfect embodiment of what it means to have a persona and stick with it. Uh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Awesome. I well, love no, it. He, but he said it himself. And it's something that me and you and Kate, we, me and you have talked about this too. And it's something that I've struggled with, like finding, like being you, just like putting, like that guy is like just, or, or you will always be better him. off every yeah. time, no matter what. Just if you're, you're being yourself, off. you'll always be better off. You're always yeah. better off just being you. Well, actually, you. just last night, we were talking, we were talking to Garrett, our friend from high school, and we were saying how we were so busy not being ourselves in high school. That we ended up not being friends with people we should have been friends with. Yeah. Uh, so, and a lot, I think a lot of people go into adulthood and they just don't change. They stay yeah. and fake they, forever because they want to impress people. And, and I can say, like, I, there's forever. been times I felt like you you feel fraudulent, right, when you're not yeah. being yourself, even if it's something successful. Like, I've done shows where it's like, you know, you, you do well, but you kind of like know the the ways to to get by and ways to get laughs, but it's like not originally organically you and you oh, feel yeah. like a fraud you feel like a fraud so dude i this was great and you know we're gonna try to do this every night tomorrow before uh tomorrow night it's gonna be takeout friday um yes so everybody get some takeout from your favorite local spot let's all get together let's eat the meals we'll all talk about where we got it from post Drink. pictures share let's support our local small businesses mm -hmm. they need uh they need it more than ever and I need, and by the way, I'm, I, I am, I always say I'm sorry for interrupting. And I always am. I need some suggestions of where to go because I actually don't know where to go for tomorrow. Yeah. So if you can post some comments of where oh, I live, in, I live near Easton. So any kind of thing, and I'll go to Bethlehem, but if there's anything nearby that you can suggest, I would appreciate it. I would like it, Tim, if you would come to Bethlehem and tell me where you're going to go so I can sit out in my car. I <laughs> With the binoculars. Your, I want to see your legs. And a taser. <laughs> I You're gonna like you love his have legs, it. Kate. I, You're gonna I love his like legs. I need I'm a lot. I have a lot of leg. Yeah, I'm more. I'm more leg than torso. You're all leggy. So. Yeah. Well, I what I think. What I think we need is we. We've had, and not that I'm. I don't want to knock on Bethlehem. Bethlehem's great. It's got great restaurants. We need some more Allentown love. W where should we go? Like, I'm willing to drive. Let's let's make some suggestions. Mm. Am, am I allowed to talk for for a minute? Yeah, no. I guess so. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. I I I, I love and hate all of you people. <laughs> I am very interested in PDZDs, uh, which, is, which is where Tim goes. Yeah. They post all this crazy stuff, and it's you know it's just been kind of far away. But I want to try PDZDs out. 
Yeah. Crazy. Listen, we the, just got a message from are... Travis. I don't know if we can pull this off. He said he'll come on every night and challenge. He'll beat somebody in a chug every night. So until we find somebody to beat him. Tyler, maybe... there's your job. There we go. That's what you're doing every day. Something to live for. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it Finally, I'll, I'll I'll take him on one time. I mean, I'll I'll take him on just like so lose. lose. Yeah, it's like getting beat one it. on one with Jordan. It's like yeah, yeah I'll, you know. I want to do I know I can't. Way, I know though. I can't win because I suck at shotgun. I've actually I've Kate. never shotgun to beer. To be quite honest with you, I've, I've, I've never funneled, I've never done my I've, done few, I've never uh, shotgun to beer, beer start to finish. I Wait, is that what it's called? Is that a shotgun? What I just did? Well, kind of, no. no. Hey, what, Kate, what no. what you just did was completely. Respectable. There's, yeah. there's nobody yeah, who's just saying. I'm a lady. I'm a lady. But no, if I, mean, I did the, if I did the whole thing, that's a shotgun. No, no you have to. You gotta, you gotta put a hole in the can. And oh. The thing he did at the end was a shotgun. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, please. Don't. I think we could. I think we could very easily find people who would like to take on. Honest Trav in a in a daily. Right now, well, of course, saying, because anybody, everybody just wants to have a drink too. So even if you lose, right you still win. Who do you who do you got out there? Well, we got to wrap up. We we, we want to do it. We don't want people to wait all night. We um, yeah, let's wrap. We're we're ten minutes over. Uh, Travis said so tomorrow night we could do it. We like could do it. Travis said we tomorrow night we could do a shotgun tutorial. I would love to see it. I would love to see that's it. Great. That's a great idea. Right? And maybe it. you know what? I'll find somebody that thinks they can maybe uh, go toe to toe with the champ. And we will start a bracket, and we'll give a prize to anybody that can beat the champ. I'll hey, find Travis. a prize. Anybody that can beat the champ, I you will get a prize from Levi with love. I just called you Travis. I'm drunk. Hey? Now I'm drunk. I'm officially drunk. No, no. <laughs> what, what you did, that, that, that's the ultimate sign of respect. Oh. Call somebody else. Name Kate starts guy. breaking character, and we know we're, we know things are getting serious. <laughs> it's weird. All right. I was um, going to say something, and I don't even remember what <laughs> Yeah, Kate needs to go to bed. Uh, Bedtime. <laughs> so, all right. Make sure you check out. Uh, make sure you 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 uh, uh, do the takeout Friday with us. Um, Kate, people find you at I Hate Kate, uh, and okay. Tim at Professor Fry. I'm at Tyler Rothrock. We will be back tomorrow night, uh, hopefully live. If if all things work out. Thank you guys. This has been fun. Kate's got to go sleep a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Bring that Thanks bell. Bring that bell. Bring that bell.